Hey, what is up meal prepping family? It's Bobby and I finally did it. I bit the bullet and got me an Instant Pot. So many of you guys have been asking me for Instant Pot recipes. So I went to Costco the other day and I got one. After just playing with it for a couple days, I see why you love it. This thing is a beast. You can do so much in there. So today I thought with the fall coming upon us, we would do a veggie loaded chicken pot pie, but super duper quick in the Instant Pot and make it really healthy and really yummy and really comforting. So let's rock it, baby. A little chicken pot pie meal prep. Seasoned chicken thighs, browned, and then cooked in the Instant Pot with a boatload of veggies, like sweet potatoes, peas, mushrooms, carrots, and onions, and topped with a flaky, herby, cheesy puff pastry topping. So here's the deal. If you're looking for healthy recipes that actually taste good, you found the best meal prepping channel on YouTube. Desi and I are rocking out new videos every Friday morning, and we would love for you to join the Flav City community by clicking that little subscribe. All right, this recipe starts with boneless, skinless chicken thighs, but first we gotta preheat the old Instant Pot over high. Then go ahead and add a couple teaspoons of olive oil. And I know it's the Instant Pot and the urge to chuck everything in there is strong, but if you take the time to first brown the chicken, it's gonna add a ton more flavor. I think it's Ann Burrell on the Food Network who says brown food tastes good. So it's gonna add five more minutes, but do that. So while that's preheating with the oil, I'm gonna season the chicken thighs with a big pinch of salt, a few cracks of pepper, flip the chicken over, and do a little more salt and a little more pepper. And then add the chicken to the Instant Pot. All right, once the chicken is down, don't touch it. Just let it do its thing. And the browning of the Instant Pot is real, people. I actually tried this recipe, or tried browning with a competitor of the Instant Pot that which shall not be named, and it didn't brown nearly as well as this. And I really like that, because I think any food that's pressure cooked or braised or so slow cooked, it's gotta be browned really well first. Okay, let's flip the chicken. Perfect. See that color? That brown, you guys, I'm telling you, it is so much flavor. Let it go another three to four minutes. Okay, let's get the chicken out of the pan, and the last one's out. All right, now the other benefit of browning off the chicken is before I add my boatload of veggies, and Brandon, get in that pot. That deliciousness, that fond or the crusty bits, you know, that's what I call it. That is a ton of flavor and it's gonna add a lot of flavor to our veggies, to our stock, to our pot pie later on. Also, we have some of that chicken fat that rendered off. So go ahead and add a ton of veggies here. I have sweet potatoes, mushrooms, carrots, celery, and onions. I did say it was a veggie loaded pot pie. And just like I said earlier, Resist the urge to just chuck everything in the Instant Pot, let it do its thing. Yeah, it's gonna work, but you're not building flavor. If I spend about 12 to 15 minutes sauteing that down right now, we're gonna evaporate a ton of the moisture and the flavors of the veggies are gonna be that much better. But I do have to season this bad boy, so let's grab a little bit of thyme here, add about a teaspoon, and then pinch in a half a teaspoon of salt, and then a few cracks of black pepper. All right, while the veggies are doing their thing for a good 12 to 13 minutes, this video today is sponsored by Trade Coffee. If you're anything like me and Desi, you need your coffee fix after lunch. Well, Trade Coffee is gonna totally hook you up because you go on their website and they send you coffee from around the country, from artisan roasters, and it comes to your doorstep. So I went on there the other day, I took a six question quiz, it paired me up with Clatch Coffee Roasters. They're out of California, and I got a French roast blend that has chocolate, molasses, and tobacco flavors, which are actually some of my favorite flavors ever. And what they do is after you take this quiz, it suggests three to five coffees that you should buy. They're about $14 a bag, and they ship it right to your door. Besides that being awesome, they're hooking up my first 100 fans who click the link down in the description box with 50% off your first order using promo code Bobby. So what I do is I always make coffee at home with a French press. So I told them that and they ground the beans to French roast for me. They roasted them when I ordered them and they came yesterday. Nice, babe. I love it. Isn't that good? It's really delicious. I know. I like that flavor of kind of tobacco yeah. and like molasses. Mm -hmm. It's really good. So you guys, check really that good. out. I guess Desi can have that one and I will make another one for myself. Thanks, babe. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to the vegetables here. Now look in the pot. You can see after 10 minutes, the veggies have really wilted down. We started with a pile that was almost overflowing and now they're less than half of the quantity. Check that out. By the way, you guys, I did add a few cloves of garlic after about five minutes into that. You don't wanna add the garlic too soon or it could burn. Now is the time to get the chicken back into the pot. So add that and don't forget those juices. That's a ton of flavor. Add those too. 
And then go in with one and a half cups of chicken stock or chicken broth, and then give it a good mix up. Make sure nothing's stuck to the bottom. But look at the colors in that pot. Come on, you guys. We got the orange sweet potatoes. We got all those beautiful mushrooms, the green celery. You just know by looking in there, it's gonna be good. All right, now let's take the lid to the Instant Pot. Slap that on here, and then we'll turn it on the pressure cooker setting. Put it on 10 minutes and let it do its thing. All right, while we're waiting for the Instant Pot to do its magic, let's talk about the topping. I was trying to think of something with Desi, maybe healthy or easy. You know what, we have so many vegetables in there, why not just keep it super simple and use puff pastry that I just rolled out, but keep it in the fridge until the last second because you want those layers of buttery puff pastry to stay really cold so it rises like a phoenix from the ashes. Um, all we have to do is cut them out to fit our bowls. This is kind of a Desi job, so do you mind that? <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard. I have a cookie cutter ready, sure. but Dusty's got the skill to hand for this kind of stuff. How many do you need, then? Uh, five for meal prep, please. Use a cookie cutter to cut out round shapes and then peel away the excess dough. And then use a fork to dug the dough. <laughs> what? <laughs> to, to say poke. Then use a fork to poke the puff pastry. This will help it rise evenly. And then finish it with some egg wash. The egg wash is gonna make it nice and golden brown. Jesse, can you hit it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese over the top? That'll make it nice and cheesy. And then I'll dust over a little bit of dried thyme for some herbaceousness. The things we do for you guys, I mean, my God. And then pop them in the oven for 12 minutes until they're golden brown. All right, I like it when a plan works out. Puff pastry tops are done, looking nice and golden. And the uh, Instant Pot was done 10 minutes ago, but I let it continue resting for 10 minutes, kind of naturally getting the pressure out. Now I'm gonna do the fun part of letting the steam out automatically. So use a towel, because this will burn, and just pick up the knob here and just turn it. And then I like to put the towel kind of over the spout that way, that way any water that kind of comes out doesn't end up on the floor. So it's 10 minutes of a natural release and then immediately go with the quick release. And it smells unbelievable in here. Between that and the puff pastry, this is like comfort food city. Now I can open up the Instant Pot. That is a happy pot. I mean, come on, look at that. It's creamy, the chicken is super tender. Those sweet potatoes have kinda softened and naturally thickened the broth a little bit, but we're gonna make it even thicker in a minute. First, I wanna grab the chicken out. You guys, it's ridiculous. After 10 minutes, how tender this chicken is? My gosh. you think it was slow cooking for an hour or something. And then go ahead and use a couple forks to shred the chicken up. Shred it as finely as you want, and then add it back to the pot. And then I know what you guys are thinking. Did he clean the platter? Yes, I cleaned the platter. And I also know what you guys are thinking because we're family. This recipe is not keto. It's just veggie focused, really healthy comfort food. But if you wanna make this keto, skip the sweet potatoes, uh, skip the peas, which I'm about to use, and use broccoli, zucchini, instead of using the puff pastry topping. I have a recipe for uh, almond flour cheddar biscuits. Put that on top, it's gonna be gangbusters. I'll put the link down below for that too. All right, on Instagram the other day, I told Desi, should we add spinach? Brandon, what do you think about putting spinach into a, a pot pie? It's unusual. It's unusual, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Desi was very against it, but we vetoed her because <laughs> I said it was gonna be a veggie-focused pot pie. So just reach your hand in the bag here, grab about one big fistful of spinach, give it a rough chop, and add it to the pot. Hey, if it's good enough for pot pie, it's good enough for me. And then add just under a cup of frozen peas, a thaw in the poop. In the poop, I just said almost. <laughs> in the pot. In the poop. <laughs> it's not poo. Oh. Hey, okay. we all have our days. This day so far is a little shaky. All right, give that a nice mix up. Now I put the pot back onto the saute setting on the medium. And you know what's crazy? I was just about ready to add some cornstarch to thicken this up, which is not keto. If you want to keep it keto, use xanthan gum. But when I recipe tested this this weekend, Brandon, I wasn't using sweet potatoes. But now that I am, it kind of thickened up naturally. Check this out. I don't think we have to use cornstarch, which will drastically reduce the amount of carbs in this dish. But if you're not using sweet potatoes, you have to use a little bit of xanthan gum for keto, otherwise it will be too loose. So I'm just gonna cook that for another couple minutes, and then we're ready to plate this dish and try it out. Let's grab a healthy scoop of the chicken pot pie. Oh my gosh, come on you guys, that looks so good. Add it to a bowl, top it off with another scoop, and then grab one of these golden brown pillows of joy, place that right on top. And there it is you guys, 
comfort food done right. Chicken pot pie with veggies coming out of the yin yang and a delicious golden cheesy puff pastry on top. I know it's a little hot, but pss, it's worth the burn. Let me grab a piece, scoop up that nice one right there. Stop it. Dude, that is ridiculous. Mm, it is so comforting. It has the flavors of like being cooked for like an hour, two hours, but because we did an instant pot in 10 minutes, we got away with like the biggest hack ever. The broth is rich, like a homemade grandmother's chicken stock. Those veggies are bang, and I really, really like that creamy sweet potato and that topping of that puffy, cheesy, herby puff pastry is the bomb. Brandon, get in here. Put the camera down. Try that bite right there. You guys, the recipe is down below in the description box, along with the storage, the heating, the macros. He's fixing his hair. Look at this guy, huh? Um, also, make sure you check out the trade coffee link down in the description box. Brandon crushed that because only the first hundred of you guys are getting 50% off your first order of custom coffee roasted and shipped to your door. If you wanna see two more pretty darn epic meal prep for the weeks, they're streaming below me right now. This is really good. Yeah, see? Not, I, didn't, I didn't make him say that, just so you know. It's like, <laughs> you know, I love pot pies already. I mean, well, I do, and it's like, it's always a hit and miss type thing, and this is definitely a hit right here. I love this. I think Brandon needs a channel of just reactions to Flav City food. I love it. It's good, right? Right? So we have, we have it for five days. We, we meal prep that like a champ. Um, we will see you next week. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking mad love.